Another very uh, good thing to have is confidence, a lot of confidence in their speaking ability, and also working on becoming more assertive in the speaking. Now, we, the format for today will be as follows. Each student has, uh, will give a speech. Uh, the, each student has picked his or her own topic, has researched his or her own topic, and has stru structured his or her speech. So this is, you will hear a different speech from every student in the area of interest to them. We will also have two debates, and the two topics were again chosen by the students. The first topic that you will hear was whether September 11th should be a national holiday, and the other half of the class will debate the issue of whether bottled water should be abolished. We're gonna proceed in the following way. Half of the class is gonna do their speeches, and then after that, we're going to do the debate on whether September 11th should be a national holiday, followed by the second half of the class uh, doing their speeches, and then after that, the debate on whether bottled water should be abolished. But now we're going to start off with our speeches, and the students know the order, and they will proceed. For the most part, the students are going to do everything with little involvement by me. So they are ready to begin. Let's begin. Hi, my name is Alicia. You've probably heard of a bus called Greyhound, but today I'm talking about the dog kind of Greyhound. I'm interested in the Greyhound because it is a great animal. I'm here to tell you why it's a great animal. Greyhounds are great because they are good hunters, they are usually a sign of pride, and they live really long, so they are very good pets too. They are good hunters because they are very fast. According to greyhoundexpressions.org, they can reach 45 miles per hour in three strides. They are also good hunters because they are sight hounds. That means they hunt with their sight. According to greyhoundexpression.org, they can see up to half a mile away. They are a sign of pride because in the year 1014, King Canu enacted forest laws stating that only noble people could own a greyhound. That means the greyhounds had to be very important. A quote from greyhoundsexpression.org is, in Britain, the ownership of a greyhound was a symbol of pride and nobility. They also live very long, 10 to 12 years. That's three out of six life stages, half of a human's life stages. If you start from when you were a baby, to when you were a child, to when you were a tween, all this information supports why they are good hunters, they represent a sign of pride, and they live very long lives. Now I have told you this, think about if you want a greyhound. I challenge you guys to do more research on greyhounds. Thank you for your time. Today, I'll be talking to 
you about the topic of pesticides. This topic really interests me since pesticides have been an important issue to humans. I strongly believe that pesticides are bad and can damage more than they can benefit people. They harm human health, hurt the environment and our crops, and can cause indoor pollution. First of all, pesticides really hurt people's health, especially children's. In fact, one million worldwide deaths and chronic diseases occur per year because of pesticides. For example, a pregnant woman was working in the fields when a plane flew by overhead and the pesticides in the fields flew into the air. She died while her baby survived. Plus, pesticides can cause headaches, blurred vision, vomiting, and may even give you an increased risk of cancer. Another reason why pesticides aren't good is because they can hurt the environment and our food as well. The U.S. National Academy of Sciences found that pesticides cause eggshell thinning. They also realized that one third of pesticides were found in our food. In addition, pesticides would spread on their intended area, travel outside, which may cause collateral damage. My final point is that pesticides can make indoor pollution. People or pets can easily track pesticides into the house. Unlike outdoor pollution, indoor pollution can persist for years. In conclusion, I firmly believe that pesticides are harmful because they can hurt human health, the environment, our food, and can make indoor pollution. As Josh Billings said, health is like money. We never have a true idea of its value until we lose it. Which do you favor more, pretty lawns or your health? Again, money can't buy you happiness because it can't help you with friends and family. It can't buy time, 
and kindness cannot be bought either. Haven't you always wondered why rich people decide to choose money instead of happiness? Remember, happiness can be found in the simplest of things. Hello, my name is Dasha Yuko, and I firmly believe that people should play video games because they make you happier, they improve your eyesight, and they improve your reading ability. Video games improve your reading ability. They make it into a study according to OneHealthy.com, dyslexic people who play a lot of action games have their dyslexia better improved by playing a lot of action games in my whole year of tutoring. Second of all, video games improve your eyesight. Video games, especially first person shooters, involve your eyesight because you have to focus on so much that's happening that your eyes just grow stronger. But last but not least, video games make people happier. Depressed teenagers who play fantasy games were 66% uh, of them were 30% cured of their depression and 24% of them were completely cured of their depression, whereas only 26% of people who talked to, with somebody were cured of their depression. Therefore, people should play video games because they improve your eyesight, they make you happier, and they improve your reading ability. Thank you.
also, many animals that are not adopted live in their fields and their cage is just as big as them. Overall, animals are not meant to be a person's pet. Think about this the next time you go to a pet store. Thank you for your time. All right, how about let's give up on the first group of hands. That was good. Uh, I love the speeches, but how about that research? You, you, you learned a lot of facts here today. Now, as the next group comes up about the debate, we have the debate on the 9-11. So I ask them to come up now. If you just give us a few minutes, we'll be second. September 11th should be a national holiday. Each, each side will have their turns, and then they will begin an unscripted free-for-all crossfire followed by the conclusion. So with that, the affirmative team from team may begin. should not be a holiday. Well, my opponent might say that 9-11 is a time of grief for a nation that lost so many friends, family, and fellow citizens. And that is exactly right. Holidays are supposed to be celebrating something, and we don't want to be like, woohoo, the terrorists attacked us, yay! Also, Patriot Day is already too commercial, even without it being a federal holiday. Besides, we already have a memorial and a day that honors 9-11. Well, let me get back to the first point I stated. National holidays like Columbus Day and Veterans Day are celebrating a great victory, but 9-11 is a tragedy. Holidays are supposed to be happy days or religious celebrations to remember the joy. 9-11 is a horrifying terrorist attack that caused great ruin. It should be remembered as a day where many died, not as a holiday to celebrate. My opponents may contend that holidays should be happy and joyful, and 9-11 is a sad event. Holidays represent happy events, but 9-11 is for mourning. My opponents may also contend that when holidays were celebrated, it had a meaningful reason for why it was celebrated, and now its meaning is not what it was made for. There would be too many holidays to celebrate um, on the same topic. People will remember 9-11 without a holiday, like the Titanic. There, were, there have been so many tragedies, so why should this one be remembered as a holiday? Their families would be sad to have a holiday and think about their families and friends each year. 9-11 does not need to be a commercial holiday. You may think that it may not be one, but look at what happened to Christmas. Christmas used to be like a religious holiday, but now like the first word that you the first word that you think of when you hear Christmas is probably like Santa. Having 9-11 with 30% off clothing racks and barbecues is disrespectful to the victims and first responders. 9-11 will eventually be like Memorial Day where people go to a barbecue beach or beach and the mall. 
family member would probably be um, it would be probably passed on from generation to generation. Well, then why can't they make it a holiday? Wouldn't that be more respectful? As I said before, you don't need 9-11 as a federal holiday to honor the people that died on that day. Instead, it lessens the meaning of the day. Take Easter, because today Easter is about opening Easter eggs and getting candy. But once Easter revolved around religion, so you can see how much just even a deeply rooted holiday, deeply rooted in religion, can become so distorted. And there could be a Remembrance Day for 9-11 instead of celebrating it and having a holiday. But there's no such thing as Remembrance Day. There's, remembrance Days are only in Canada. Um, no. There's a Remembrance Day for Pearl Harbor. And it's on December 7th. Where'd you get your facts? Because 9-11 is a time that where many people were shocked, many planes had to go back to their destination, many many people had to had were stranded at airports until the planes were searched. Well, the, these how come if there's a if the, if there's a hol holiday for um, to remember soldiers in war, why can't we remember the people who risked their life to save us? Um, we already have Patriot Day. So, so technically, we don't really need a holiday that says 9-11 was a great tragedy. Besides, if if, if you want... Time. If we're Closing statements. Pro. In conclusion, we strongly believe that September 11th should be a holiday because all the people that have died on that day shouldn't have died, and the people that have risked their lives for others should be respected and honored. All people that have risked their lives that were too injured to help themselves risk their lives to help. We believe that those who have died should be remembered. Those who risked their lives deserve to be remembered and honored. This is why we strongly believe that September 11th should be a national holiday, so all the people that have died can be honored. In conclusion, we strongly believe 9-11 should not be a holiday because tragedies shouldn't be celebrated. Instead, we think these tragedies should be remembered for the World Trade Center being crashed, not celebrated with picnics or parties when eventually people will forget all about what the holiday was even for. 9-11 is not a holiday. Thank you for your time. All right, let's give them all a good hand. <laughs> So again, the, the children did all, the students did all their own research, formulated their own arguments, and I thought they did a great job. So let's give them another hand as the next group of speakers come up. So next group of speakers come up, please.